Okay, everybody, and welcome to lesson 1.2, Applying Order of Operations. So this time through, we have the order of operations. And basically, the order of operations is the correct process in evaluating multiple operations in a algebraic expression. The correct process or procedure in dealing with multiple operations okay here is what always needs to be done to evaluate an expression involving more than one operation use the following steps evaluate the expressions inside parentheses Okay, those can be parentheses, they could be brackets, anything like that. Um, evaluate, so um, any exponents. Exponents. Multiply and divide from left to right. That is the key. It's not always multiply and then divide. You might divide and then multiply. So make a highlight of that there. And then lastly, add and subtract. Same idea. And that is something that confuses students um, because I know you are used to probably hearing something known as PEMDAS. And you're like, well, M becomes before D and A before S. Those can be done, again, whichever order, whichever is first. So highlight that order of operations. Okay, evaluate the expression. You can do this in the calculator, but let's do it by hand. Remember, step one, parentheses. Well, there are none, so don't got to worry about them. Step two, okay, so we are checking for um, exponents. Exponents. So I'm going to highlight the exponents, which is right here. Before we do anything else, we are taking care of that exponent, which is 2 squared, or 2 times 2, which is 4. So we have to evaluate the power. Next, okay, we have to add or subtract. Actually, we have to multiply or divide, sorry. So we look, what comes first, okay? Multiplication and then division from left to right. So we have two things we have to do, okay? And then minus our four from up above. So the first thing we have to do is 30 divided by 20, which is 15. The other thing we could do is then 15 divided by four, minus 5, so the 15 divided by 4, okay, oh, 30 times 2, what are you doing, Dvorsky? 30 times 2 is 60. If you were thinking, what in the world? There we go, 60 divided by 4 is 15, and then lastly, 15 divided by minus 5 is going to be 10. Whew. So we all make mistakes. I took this note back because I'm like, decimals aren't, not that they're wrong, but always double check that you did the right thing. So 30 times 2, that was our multiplication. That's where I got 60 from. Divided by 4. Then you took the division to get 15. Minus 5, all that for 10. Okay. Let's try out some of these, okay? So if you need to have with you the please excuse my dear and Sally parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, um, let's highlight the first thing we have to do. 3 squared. So we know 3 squared is 9. Um, there is no multiplication. Addition makes it 19. We can then move on. Um, first thing we have to do, go ahead, highlight it, think about it. 
2 to the third. 2 to the third, using the calculator, is going to be 8, which is not 2 to the eighth, 2 to the third. It's going to be 8. Now we have a decision. We have, are we going to add first or are we going to subtract first? From left to right means we do subtraction. 16 minus 8 is going to be 8 plus 4. Then we add to get 12. Okay. Um, moving on to 3, we got more things. Again, power first. 2 squared is 4. Division, that is our next step. 28 divided by 4 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and we call it a day there. And last one, try this one out on your own. Try it, pause, come back to you if you have to. And there you go. So try those out. Hopefully you did okay. Next up is evaluating expressions with grouping symbols. Okay, so now we are throwing in the P in parentheses. Parentheses, brackets, same thing. Okay, basically when we have these, you have to do that operation first. So 9 plus 3 is 12. Then we do 6 times 12. Which is 72. Okay. Um, the next one. Parentheses. So this is like a little mini order of operations inside. Um, so first we would have to do 3 squared. Which is 9. Then we do the 9 plus 1. Which is 10. Then we do 50 minus 10. Which is 40. Okay. So that is the process. Brackets and parentheses. Oh, my. So we're going to start away from the inside and work our way out. Okay. So I see brackets. Then I see parentheses. So we're going to start way inside. Well, what else do we have? An exponent. 5 squared is 25. Okay. Um, parentheses still. So working in here in the blue uh, is 30. Then we are working in the brackets. 30 plus 5 is 35. 3 times 35 gives us 105. Okay, so that is evaluating with parentheses. Um, we'll jump right into, we'll skip a little checkpoint for here, and we'll get into evaluating with some fractions. It's kind of like a grouping symbol. Okay, um, so here, when you have this, don't let it scare you. Uh, we still have some things going on here. We're going to evaluate when k is equal to 2. So the first thing to do is anywhere you see k, let's replace it with 2. Substitute 2 for k. Now, we can start to work on some operations. Um, first thing we have to do is evaluate the power. 2 squared is 4. Everything else we can keep the same. Let's work in the powers, or in the parentheses. 4 plus 4 gives us 8. Multiply within the parentheses. Okay, 12 times 2 is 24. And the bottom, 3 times 8, is also 24. Hey, 24 divided by 24 is 1. Okay, so a little funky with that one. Um, keep in mind all the evaluating parentheses and just take your time. These ones we are going to try out. So x to the third minus 5, evaluate when x is equal to 3. So we have 3 to the third minus 5. 3 to the 3rd, not 9, 27 minus 5, which is 22, there's your answer. Evaluate and x is equal to 3, so 3 and 3, 
So that's what you want to look at it as. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 plus 7. You operate the top and the bottom separately. 18 plus 2 is 20. 3 plus 7 is 10. And then you divide last to get 2. Okay, so great job looking through those. Homework for this one, the 1.2, the odds. I believe in you. Good luck. Have fun.